as promised, I said I would create a quick video for my friend Dave to show how stupidly addicted this game is. So, uh, okay, so you've got a mushroom farm. Sort of like all automated when you click on these steps, the doors open. And underneath here you'll see all these mushrooms that grow in the dark. Um, that's like an automated chicken farm, we've got no eggs, all the eggs will run through there and you collect them at the bottom. Uh, melon farm, melons are rare, you can't, you only get the seeds from, from certain dungeons. Uh, Laurie created this, <laughs> that's all sandstone and uh, obsidian which you can only get when you mix um, lava and water, so it's really hard to get out and that's special rock that burns all the time that you can only get from the nether. Um, so look, just get out of here. As you can see, we built into the side of a mountain and enclosed it with glass. And all the lava and all that lot, so we can see it from distance. Um, got a couple of ways in. So this is just a small house that we built. That green rock is rare, you can only get it at dungeons. There's absolutely zero point to that. Um, then you've got like, this back door that runs out there. Just quickly show you the, the, the best part. Hopefully I won't die on route. Um, so this is the room where we kind of like keep all the diamond, which is quite rare. <coughs> Nine blocks a piece. And we keep all kinds of crap in these. Like glass or whatever. But that's worth about, I don't know, I would say a couple of hours worth of gaming that. That's pretty disgusting. Um, so here's the cool part, right? So you've got like uh, the bed and and you've got the mine that goes down there, it goes down there for fucking miles. You can walk it. Um, more ovens. You can go out the back there, but here's the cool part. This is the minecart room. This is the one that really took this long. So press this button here and a mine automatically comes out. You jump in, press to go. And you'll see the distance that this thing goes now. <coughs> so to build all this stuff, you need like loads of loads of iron, loads of gold. No doubt, I'm probably going to die by a creeper now or something that's stupidly on the track. No, I should have waited till the day. Should have showed you showed you the mine as well, but it's so big. I mean, so much to see. Uh, the world just generates, I know you've never played before, but the world just generates, it keeps going. So, I hope I can miss all these. Oh, the monsters only come out at night, so you only really want to be doing this at night time, but it should be fast enough. Yeah, you see, uh, to, build, <coughs> to build this track, you need somewhere in the region of probably like a couple of hundred um, iron. When you see the red track, that's gold in there that speeds it up. So the goal of the track was to make it to the nearest village, so we didn't have to walk it in the day or at night, be the case. Um, so as you can see, you can literally just start digging anywhere into that wall there, and you can go down as far as you want, well, until you hit bedrock, put it that way. So I think we're coming up to the first uh, stop in the track, which is a... Uh, a sand quarry <coughs> still going yeah every time I every time I use this I always forget how far this thing really goes so yeah this is the first stop this is oh fuck that's a creeper right I, yeah I gotta go right so it's going again right so basically that was a house there we have a sand quarry and some portal I had to move there because that creeper would have blown up the track. Did we lock this at the end, by the way? Um, yeah, if you go for the door, go into it. Once you go in, you go for the door on your right side, and it's a lock, lock room now. Yeah. Fuck, that would have to happen, wouldn't it? <coughs> and that would have to break as well. <coughs> Get out of my car. He's actually sitting in it. Okay, I'm 
Hang on. Come on. So obviously if I didn't <coughs> hit that creature there, I would have made it all the way. That's why you're only supposed to do it at night. As you see, we mined out all this to get down here. And there's uh, some NPC villages that are randomly created around the earth. And uh, this is one of them. Oh, that's BS. That does go up there. It's just I didn't pick up enough speed. And now I'm going to lose the cart. So I'm just going to run it so you can see what happens. But... So the cart will go up there, I don't know. It was because I got stopped by that skeleton before. These are all, obviously we didn't create these, these are just created on their own. And you know, you've got like a small little house. That's pretty much the end of the video, but uh, yeah, I do warn you, if you do play this game, it is seriously addictive. Catch you in a bit, Dave. Bye.